Hi guys, this is yours truly and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am going to share with you one of the artworks that can be found in our place. And that is the Church of St. Augustine. If there is a church that has really caught my fancy, it's the grandiose St. Augustine Church in Panglao. Architecturally, it's truly one of a kind. I mean, who wouldn't fall in love with its ever enchanting entryway decked out with bougainville flowers in large green pots? Not to mention, the colossal statue of St. Augustine in Santo Nino, verdant pines, blue skies, and unruffled ambience. This reminds me so much of Chateau de Chinonso in France. No wonder why tourists become more confident in front of the camera. From afar, the church facade looks like a rated sand castle. It's actually like a soft marshmallow sculpted in stone with red velvet on top. You can spend a long time deciphering the patterns on it until you get a stiff neck. Just kidding. <laughs> Due to the ruinous 7.2 magnitude earthquake in 2013, the church had to undergo rigorous refurbishment or restoration, including the famous four-story watchtower just meters away from it. Now, more people are eyeing up its minimalist yet majestic features. Aside from the commendable works of art and wide plaza, Panglawanans typically come here with their loved ones to give thanks and ask for prayers by lighting candles. Tara, let's get inside! Inside, it seems that you have entered a Baroque or Gothic palace. Cleverly positioned wooden chairs greet you creating a broad and lofty aisle towards the altar. From the elaborate walls and fascinating tiles to the endless array of rare ceiling murals of the seven sacraments and breathtaking interior designs, there's certainly a lot to love! <laughs> Three intricately carved retablos or altars are in front and are all near to the wall. The icon of St. Augustine, a doctor of the church and patron saint, is located in the upper center niche of the center retablos facing the nave. St. Joseph, Jesus' foster father, has a niche below on the left side corner, and the Blessed Virgin Mary has one on the right. And Santo Nino de Panglao is located in between them. The St. Augustine Church continues to offer daily mass services and is open to visitors all year long. Visitors who are interested in taking part in the feast day activities may visit on August 27 and 28 to witness the town's annual celebrations. To all who want to visit Bohol, don't miss to visit Panglao Church. Adios y gracias por ver chuchus. The 
St. Augustine Church sits at the western end of Panglao Island, close to Panglao Bay. It is about 22 kilometers from Tagbilaran City. If you're coming from the city, you can take a car across a Borja Bridge and continue onto the Dawis Panglao Road until you reach the end. You will then turn right onto the Panglao Circumferential Road and you will soon find the church on your left. <laughs> Mabuhay ka ang Panglao!